Matthew 3, 12, Common English Bible. The shovel he used to sift the wheat from the husk in his hands. He will clean out his threshing area and bring the wheat into his barn. But he will burn the husk with, with a fire that can't be put out. When Katie and I were looking to buy our first home, we had several wish list items that we wanted for our home. One that was very high, and I'm uh, pleased to say we did actually accomplish, was to have a fireplace. We both grew up with fireplaces, and we loved using them to keep uh, the home warm and to be a place to sit around and gather around. Being successful in getting that for our own home, I can already tell you we've spent many hours this past winter uh, and this winter <laughs> so far already, uh, just being around the fire, reading and talking. The concept of refinement and repentance are often placed together in Scripture to help us understand the process by which we are in relationship with God. The images of fire as part of the purification process have been talked about to no end through the, in the church, and I think we've gotten an aspect of this wrong. Usually when we talk about refinement and repentance, we talk about it in almost a negative way. Painful. It's painful to go through. Refinement means changing. Fire, if you put your hand in it, is painful. So we assume that we're dealing with a painful event in our lives. I would like to encourage you this Advent to approach refinement and repentance not as a fire burning away bad things and changing you, but perhaps as a place that offers a deeper relationship, perhaps like a fireplace, where you are called to sit and be in a relationship with God, a relationship based on trust and love, that you might be refined and repent of the wrongs that you have done, intentionally and unintentionally, by the relationship you have with God. Amen.